Crab has asked me, he said, uh, excuse me, Chef Boy, is there any way that you can make an inexpensive meal for a family of four? Times are rough out here right now. And, you know, we want to eat healthy. But at the same time, we want to be able to afford what we eat. And, hey, I told him, I said, well, you know, there's various sites on YouTube you can go to and check them out and all that. And I said, but you know what? Just keep watching me. I'll do the best I can to help you out because I know how it is with the economy the way it is. I mean, that's the way it is, yeah. Hey, look, today I'm making a special meal. This is going to be a late meal tonight. I mean, I've got it in my crock pot. Uh, I've just put it on and you'll see it shortly. It's my red beans and rice with fresh pork sausage, fresh smoked sausage, and some good old pork neck bone, baby. And it's the way that I do it on the bayou. And it's all good. And if you can't afford to get all the sausages and everything, look for neck bone. Pork neck bone is not expensive. Red beans are not really expensive. And hey, get your little spices together and do your thing, okay? I hope you enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe, please. I mean, hey, Give me a thumbs up. And if you want to talk to me, talk to me. Let me know when your birthday is. I would love to say something about it. Hey, this is Chef Bork, and I'll talk with you later. Uh, ew, oh, yeah, baby. Let's watch the video. I'm done. All right. So far, I've taken three quarters of a pound of red kidney beans and washed them real good. Let them soak about ten minutes. Put them in my crock pot. Now, what I'm going to be doing, the meat I'm going to be doing, is I'm going to be adding a link of fresh pork sausage and maybe half a link of smoked sausage. And today we'll be using some neck bone, pork neck bone. One of my subscribers asked me if I could make an inexpensive meal for a family of four, and that's what, that's what I'm working on right now. And as you can see, I bought some uh, fresh pork neck bone here and I don't know if you can see the price on that or not but this nice pack right here was two dollars and seventy four cents and it looks like I got three or four big pieces of neck bone in there let's keep the show on the road now before I add my meat I'm gonna add five cups of water Yep, baby. And I will be calling for oh about a quarter teaspoon or a little bit more of celery seed. Because that's what I do. Then I'll be adding two teaspoons of salt and this might increase as, as the day goes on because I'm gonna cook this maybe six or eight hours I'm not sure yet garlic powder I'm just gonna put one teaspoon of garlic powder because that's good stuff you know what I mean now I'm not gonna add any pepper or anything like that because I don't have to you know my family they like the sausage kind of season so that's good enough for us all right, now, I like dried sweet bell pepper, so I'm going to go ahead and put uh, maybe one and a half tablespoons. Parsley, I can go out in the garden and pick it, but this is very handy for me. I've got a tablespoon of parsley. That's going to be terrific. What else I'm going to put in there? Let me see. I like my green onions. I'm going to put a little over, put a little over a tablespoon of dried green onions because that's what I like. Now when it comes to onions itself, I kind of like these minced ones. So I'm going to put a tablespoon and a half minced onions. I'm going to add about a half a teaspoon of uh, paprika. 
Heck, maybe a teaspoon. What the heck? Paprika is good for you. Like old no air time John used to say, it's an essence. All right, now just a little dash of chili powder. I'm not making chili, but when you mix all of these together, you get a flavor that's just outstanding. God, you just won't believe it. Now I'm gonna start adding. Now I'm gonna start adding my my meats in there. And naturally, I'm gonna start off with my smoked sausage. Ooh, ooh, baby. And my pork sausage. Got that in there. And I'm going to add two pieces of neck bone. My neck bone's pretty good size here. Oh yeah. So now you've got all your seasonings in there. Now what we're going to do, now what we're going to do is go ahead, cover it up, Move it over to the cooking area and let it do its thing, shy. All right. Yeah, I'll see you later when this thing here starts boiling real, real good. All right. This thing is cooking down real good. It's been about oh, two and a half hours, three hours. Looking good, baby, good. So with this, I'm going to add half a cup of rice and hey stir it up a little bit so it'll do its thing oh yeah oh yeah and I got a lot of a lot of juice in there to take care of the rice so that's going to do it for sure. Okay, let her do her thing. Parboiled rice, it'll cook in about an hour. And you know, as it's cooking, I kind of stir it up a little bit. And it'll, as it swells, it's going to pick up some of the moisture. But damn, that's good. Boy, if you can, let me look. Look at that neck bone. Ho, ho, ho. Got another piece of neck bone in there. Oh yeah, right there. And this will get done and the meat will be falling off the bone. So hey, everybody gets fixed This chef board. I'm going to show you one more time when it's done. All right, bye. Well, buds. This is done. I'm shutting it down. Hot dang. All right. Talk to y'all later. Time to manger. Aye, oh yeah, baby. Don't forget to subscribe, and you got the thumbs up. Aye, oh yeah.